Greetings. Um, it's been a while. I've been, been planning this a long time. Uh, I, I never wanted to stop the, the Poet Love series. It just life got kind of in the way. But it is April and it is National Poetry Month and we, my community has just taken a big hit. Um, I was planning something very big and elaborate if I ever got the time to do the Poet Love thing again, um, this thing again, I, uh, I, and I wanted to do it on someone special, and Gina Blaurock was special, um, I, I don't have a card, I'm, I didn't feel like digging through the box, so I, uh, I heard the news today, it's when I got home from work. And I've been pondering it here for the past, like, four hours. I... It, it just doesn't seem real. Why Gina? For those of you who don't know, Gina Blaurock is a local poet from Columbus, Ohio. She's our local poet spotlight for the 50th episode, I guess. Um, she graduated from the Ohio State University has been on numerous slam team with Columbus, Ohio's own writer's block, Slam. There's nothing I can say about Gina that people who have known Gina have already said. Gina had this energy to her and she brought it to her work and it just made the, the sad thing too is I don't know how much of Gina's work I have in my collection it's, it's, it's hard to recollect what I, I can remember the poems and they were they were great poems they, no matter how many times you heard them there was just something about them that, that explains Gina. It doesn't. There's something about Gina, and that made her stand out. That made her someone you want to get to know. And that's the thing I hate the most. Is like I wish I would have gotten to know Gina. Um story time I love the story I think this story in my head encapsulates who Gina was to me when I started first started getting into poetry so this was about seven eight years ago I remember when I started going to both Black Pearl which would become Writing Wrongs and Writer's Block they were Tuesday Wednesdays I usually got two days off would week anyway so it was just cool to make them those two and go to poetry each night 
and I remember that's when I got to really know a lot of the the writers black crowd that's how I got to I mean they were Scott Burnell Louise Louise Dave Noble Joanna Schroeder Gina Ed Plunkett just all of them and where I got to really know all of them and Gina especially but I feel like there were some people I connected with better I felt that I connected with better than others and Gina I, we had our moments something didn't really I don't know we were cool I'm sure if I hung around Gina a lot more, we would have gotten closer. Uh, that's what I'm trying to get here. Um, I don't know if any of the poems are on YouTube. I don't have any links to send you. I just wanted to get my feelings about Gina out. Just unedited, unscripted this. Go back to to the love. I love this community. And the community is not going to be the same without you know. it, it it's just doesn't feel right. I was going to tell a story, wasn't I? So, when I, one thing that I remember that definitely got me coming back to Writer's Block when I started going out was I mean, these people like to do the same thing that we uh, Black Pro and Writing Wrongs like to do is like yeah, after a show it's kind of cool to go hang out somewhere outside of the poetry play with some people and the one of the one of the big times that I remember is a bunch of us went to karaoke at a club at a bar down in downtown Columbus I believe it was called Havana anyway I was I like karaoke I like karaoke. I like to think I could sing better than some people who do karaoke, but I'm, I could also be an egotistical prick. Um, but Joanna, but you know, yeah, we all took our turns doing karaoke. I, I did Weezer's Buddy Holly because I had my glasses at the time. But I remember Joe, jo, Gina. Gina did Tina Turner. Proud Mary. And she just got so into it. She was doing the moves. Her hair, hair she was swinging around. And that is... That is Gina in my eyes. Forever and for all that. It's just energy and attitude and humor and good and Gina we love you and I'm gonna end this here I'm gonna try to do a full scripted poet love video by the end of the month because I need other reminders of good than stuff like this.
If you can't find anything of Gino's, just remember the name. There will be something in that name that will shake something good in you. So until next time.